right, so we covered yesterday the importance of Jesus, and he was a righteous dude. And some people like to say that he had good fashion sense, though I think that wearing white after Labor Day, though in a hot climate, is not really in keeping with the teachings. So, last week, we talked about the Jews and whether they may or may not be responsible. Our good friend Mel Gibson teaches us that they're not. Is he asleep again? George Baskin. Well, good morning. You just earned the first presentation of the day. What is the name of your project? <clears throat> Apocalypse Soon. Faden, our hero prepares for Armageddon. Not the 1998 garbage by Michael Bay, but rather, the end of the world. This is the life of a doomsday prepper. A fallout shelter to aid the survival of the last remaining few. Just like Boris Tegel's The Omega Man 1971. And... Cut! How's the documentary going? Almost finished, mm -hmm. but it needs a touch of Herzog. He made Lessons of Darkness, right? Yes. I'll tell you, that movie, beautiful. <laughs> and that rack, the heat, you know, made it hard to focus on the enemy. They blended in with the sand. Is in that unrelenting heat, I first understood how the world would end. It won't. I'll tell you how to start. It won't start with a bang. It'll start off with a whisper. <clears throat> first to war. One side will use the big one, just like Hiroshima. The Earth will tremble. Five, four, three, two, one. Godzilla, 1954. It's all gone. Nothing but rubble and missed opportunities. But not for the selected few who follow the scout rule. Always be prepared. Cut! <laughs> How's that?
Did I make the final cut? How's bells you did? You just gave me the ending. <laughs> You're a filmmaker. <laughs>
Hey, baby. Is this boy bothering you? My god, you're the most beautiful thing ever. I prefer not to be called a thing. <laughs> Leave him alone. I bought you flowers. And this necklace. I've already told you no, Hunter. I'm not interested in your materialistic capitalist possessions. You can't own me. Don't speak to me that way. You're just confused. But I forgive you, baby. You will be mine, Juno Flowers. And there is nothing in this world that can stop that from happening. Teach him a thing or two about personal property. Hey, George, can I please talk to you? Your nose. Here, let me help. Thanks. I've been trying to tell you something. In fact, I've been trying to work up the nerve to tell you for a long time now. You have? The, the thing is, I... I have always... I... I... I've been trying to figure something out. You have? The thing is... You... you... You and I were... <laughs> Remember when that big jerk almost drowned on the fifth grade field trip? You pulled him out of the pool and saved his miserable butt. Jaws, 1975. Nice nose! Rocky, 1976. Directed by John Alvidson. Yeah, I remember. We were all friends then. I've gotta go. But I only need one more scene for the documentary. Look, I've got a lot going on right now, Charlie. Now everything in life is a stupid, low-budget movie. You're a real jerk, George Basket. You and Tristan deserve each other! Hey, Charlie! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it.
Trump 2020. I've been preparing for the end of the world, but you will do. Let's get this over with. I've been struggling as to why I've been doing this. I thought it was because Hunter wants to date a girl that's not into him. But that's not it. Not all of it, anyways. No? What is it, then? This is how you pay back an old friend who saved your life. If you save somebody's life, then you're responsible for it. But you forgot all about me, didn't you, Georgie? You and Charlie never made any time for me. That hurt. After seventh grade, you guys never even spoke to me. Passed me by in the halls like I was a stranger. I missed my friends. I never knew you felt that way, Tristan. You don't have to beat somebody up for Hunter. He's just using you. Friends don't do that. Yeah, I do. You think he's gonna beat someone up by himself? And besides, I'm his friend. He was there when you weren't.
Tristan. You're late. I quit. What? You can't quit. I made you. And I can easily unmake you. You aren't leaving. You ever heard of a swirly? I'm really sorry, Char. Can you please forgive me? I, I was an idiot. You don't you didn't deserve that. I, I was I was wrong. I I brought some Blu-rays of those Soviet films you liked. Shut up, just shut up. You had me at Soviet. You had me at Soviet. Jerry Maguire, 1996. Thanks for coming. Here. Keep it. I've got my own. Okay, everybody, we're starting the film. Coming this fall. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> to a backyard near you. <laughs> in a world battered and bruised, one man survives to tell the tale because he is the. <laughs> Doomsday Prepper, directed by Charlie Slater. Rated A for awesome. Do you really believe in all this end of the world stuff? Don't worry. If it happens, I'll just save you again. That's what friends are for. Our hero prepares for Armageddon, not the 1998 garbage by Michael Bay, rather the end of the world. This is the life of the Doomsday Prepper. Hey George, how does it feel? Hey George, could I speak to you privately after the show? Sure. I'm ready to tell you what I wanted to say.
Rolling. Speed. Tag it. Scene 10, take two, marker. Got it. Hold the camera. Frame. Quite right on set. Action. So how long did it take you to make this? I didn't make it. <laughs> but like, like the shooting, like did it, how many months and years and decades? Mm. I think Charlie started it last year. Wow. Do you like popcorn? A little bit. Uh, it's all right. Uncle Bernard calls me lactose tolerant because I like the cheese and the butter. And so instead of hurting me, it makes me stronger. So, it's like, it's like, um... It's unfortunate we won't have cows in the far future. I mean, what if the cows...